Coming to you live from the palatial studios of PBJ Productions. Welcome to Patrick and BJ Talk Real Estate, where we talk about life, the universe, and everything as it relates to real estate. Hey everybody, it's BJ. And Patrick. We're back talking all things real estate. And today, I want to talk about a uh, headline that BNN Bloomberg came out with, and there's an article to go with it, but the headline reads, prices will return to pandemic peak by the end of 2024. No way. Really? I hope it's not going to be that crazy again. I, I, you know, I really, yeah, that was pretty... That was an experience <coughs> and a half that right? I was waiting for it. I was waiting for that to be over. Right? Yeah. Okay. And so, so here's... Here, let me just give read a little bit of this and then we'll talk about it here. Okay, um, home prices across Canada are expected to climb next year, th this year in, in 2024, in uh, with the expected Bank of Canada rate cuts poised to reinvigorate the housing market, according to a new report. So, um, the prediction is home prices will make uh, incremental gains in the first half of the year. And those gains will be followed by larger price increases in the second half of the year, spurred by expected interest rate cuts from the Bank of Canada after a historic, historic rate hiking cycle. Wow. We see 2024 as an important tipping point for the national economy as the majority of Canadians acknowledge that the ultra low interest rate era is dead and gone. <clears throat> and we believe that the great adjustment to tolerable mid single digit borrowing costs will have a firm grip on our collective consciousness after only a modest rate cut by the Bank of Canada. And that's from uh, CEO Phil Sofer of Royal LePage. That's very interesting that it's mentioned, he mentions that. And you know, in like the past, ex the past experiences when um, the governments have changed policies, the interest rate jumps, uh, we, we went from um, GST, PST here in BC to a harmonized sales tax. You know, there was always a stall. There was, mm. uh, we need a minimum down payment. We had a stress test. Uh, these are the ones I can remember off the top of my head. There was sure. always a bit of a stall. Yeah. And then consumers just uh, grown accustomed to it. Yeah, they get used to the new normal. And the, it's the, oh, I hate that. <laughs> so the new normal, it, they just want to get on with their lives. Yes. That's it. Yeah. So there's people sitting on the sidelines and they just end up saying, well, you know what, honey, uh, we can't wait anymore. Like we want to buy a house. Let's make it happen this yeah. year. Right. Yeah. I think it goes back to like, <clears throat> if it's important to you, you'll make, you'll find a way to make it happen. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That, you know, I think that sums up, you know, that the prediction of reaching the highs of like during like 2022, you know, height to revisiting that already. Maybe it feels very optimistic for sure. prices to go up. Yep. But very, very interesting that the president of Royal LePage or CEO of CEO. Royal LePage uh, uh, states that. Yeah. And the, uh, again, the Bank of Canada had something to say about it. I think in somewhere in here, RBC says, has a statement to say about the same thing as well. So the expectation is, uh, and we've said this from the start, as soon as interest rates come down, prices are going to go back up. We're talking about our market. Yeah, maybe a little bit fluctuate differently in a different market, but we know what our market's going to we be. We can sort of generalize that across across Canada. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Sure. Um, but it might be a little bit, you know, obviously the numbers are different in Can uh, pardon me, in Victoria than they are in Saskatchewan, uh, for example. But yeah, you, you, the premise is, I think that's what we're seeing is based on what the Bank of Canada is preparing to do and what we know is going to happen. And based on what the reports are saying right now, I'm, I was quite surprised to, to read that headline that we're talking about 2022 numbers, basically by the end of this year. I, I think it's a wonderful <coughs> prediction. I, you know, I kind of think that, um, you know, as much as we may be uh, positive about what's going on, you know, we, maybe, maybe if it said 2025, I'd have a better, better chance of believing it. Yeah. Um, our Canadian economy, you can, you can argue, and please, in the comments, you know, you can argue, um, is our economy, are we in a recession? Are we on the, like, on the cusp of a recession? Are we doing better? Unemployment rates really haven't spiked. Um, 
uh, bankruptcy rates. I think there's, I think, I think there's an uh, aftershock of COVID of a lot of people that probably were on the cusp of like, oh, we can make it, but then the challenges around the restrictions of COVID yeah. has has a long term sure. effect, and that loan that was due in January, sure. yeah. um, I think is like that that chicken has come home to roost kind yeah. of thing right yeah and then you have inflation to deal with because your costs have gone up with which still the bankruptcy <clears throat> rate is not as bad as the uh stock market crash back in like the end of 2008 okay so yeah. like <clears throat> we're still lower than those figures for like 2009 2010 sure. for bankruptcy claims yeah and um and for homeowners we're still looking at uh like not historical lows but very low delinquency rates on mortgages so we're not we're not seeing that flood of like um foreclosures on the market either right i know there's a lot of other numbers to look at looking at the entire you know economic uh, uh health check of canada but um that's interesting that they say that i think the interest rates will go down if our economy stalls and we see inflation go down and then then we'll see an interest rate adjustment yeah a downwards more than upwards yeah oh, it's, it, the projection yeah. is two. what they're saying now is two uh reductions this year before the end of the year but not significant we're not talking about like like the jumps we saw going the other way yeah they're yeah. not going to be the like seven that. in a row going up yeah there. they're not going to be like that yeah so um so that's what we're seeing in in this report anyway and i think it's it's just valuable for all of you guys to know what's going on what the trends are and and also just the uh, the brass tacks of, is this optimistic? Maybe, maybe it's a little optimistic, but um, you know, somebody's done the research here and, and pulled some numbers and done some, some, <clears throat> uh, some actual research to arrive at this conclusion. Yeah. Well, I think consumer confidence is like that sentiment of like, yeah. Are, are, are people confident in making their next move? Yeah. You know, there are stories out there where it's sort of cherry picked, like one example where, you know, somebody bought last year or the year before and interest rates or whatever the case may be. And sure. Now they're now they're facing bankruptcy. Um, you know, I think, again, look at look at the entire picture. Look at your market area um, and then and, and, and talk to experts in your area at yeah. the same time. Yeah. Right. Yeah to get like, what's a true figure? What is the data? So yeah, that's my encouragement. For sure. So um, that's it for that one. But if you're in a position and you say, well, you know, I know the market is picking up and I'm interested in finding out what my home is valued for, uh, certainly reach out to us because we're happy to help you with that. Uh, you know, we are seeing, like we're saying, the market is moving along and picking up and um, you know, the, the both on, <clears throat> uh, both on the commercial as well as the residential side. So if you have some, some questions about that, certainly put that out to us or in the comments or reach out to us directly. And on, on Vancouver Island. Yeah. But if it's in like Kitchener, Ontario, I don't, I don't wouldn't know much about yeah. that. Maybe we can help you with <laughs> connecting you with somebody yeah. out there, but we don't, we don't, yeah, we're kind of, we're kind of here on Vancouver Island, so. Perfect. Yeah. Well, that wraps that up. Okay. Awesome stuff. All right. And um, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, what are we putting out? Three, four videos three, four, yeah. a week. Yeah. So you want to make tuned. sure you don't miss anything. So awesome. All right. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.